ಉತ್ತಮ ಸನಪಿತೆ ವಸೂನ ವಿಘ್ನೇ ಸುಪಾಯನೋಭವ ಸಜಸ್ವಾನ ಸ್ವಸ್ಥೇ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಹಮಾರೆ ಬೀಚ್ ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತ ಹೈ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಚಿನ್ ಗುಪ್ತಾ ಜೀ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಇನ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಯೋಗ ಪೀಠ हमारे बीच उपस्थित है आदरणीय नेहा सिंह जी डायरेक्टर ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग भरवा सॉल्यूशन आईटी कंपनी मैम कृपया स्टेज पर आए जोरदार करतल ध्वनि राइट डॉक्टर सचिन गुप्ता डॉक्टर सचिन गुप्ता इज अ शाल्य तंत्र स्पेशलिस्ट जनरल सर्जन वर्किंग इन पतंजलि आयुर्विज्ञान एवं अनुसंधान संस्थान हरिद्वार हैविंग मोर देन 13 इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ही ऑपरेटेड मेनी केसेस ऑफ अपेंडिक्स hernias hydrocele and gall bladder surgeries his area of speciality is proctology piles fistula fissure and pylori sinus he operated more than 5000 recurrent cases of many complex fistula in ano or pylorial sinuses from leading institutions of india by his minimal invasive hybrid laser surgery with ayurvedic approach shara karma and shara sutra treatment he has nurtured many post graduate scholars under his guidance at patanjali yogpeet haridwar thank you sir i would like to welcome you for your talk stage is yours dr sachin gupta a respected swami ji maharaj and param pujya acharya shri respected dignitaries and uh, my dear students and my colleagues today's my topic is on an innovative hybrid techniques to treat benign proctological diseases with ayurveda and laser surgery so maharishi shushruta is the father of surgery so they are the mentors of my career i started my career since 13 years back from this institution and under the guidance of param puja swami ji and acharya shri we operated many cases of from the renowned institutions of the india and they are all recurrent cases in proctology so the center of excellence so both uh, that all the four institution that is patanjali yogpeet pri patanjali ayurveda college along with the university of patanjali is on the peak of they are performing all the procedures and all protocols so benign anorectal diseases all of us and all of my students and my colleagues knows they are very common in the society they are hemorrhoids or piles they are fistula in ano fissure in ano and pylonidal sinuses shara therapy is an indian contribution to the world science shara karma or caustic therapy so it is a minimal invasive ayurvedic parasurgical procedure and the shara is obtained from the ashes of medicinal plants that is apamarga pilash and arka extra so mode of action of pratisarniya shara so it cauterizes the bile mass causing necrosis and fibrosis and scar formation the complete wound healing occurs within 21 days of the procedure you can see uh, this is a before this image shows before during and after application so before application this is the second degree hemorrhage and during application you can see the here you can see the shara application and you can see this is the necrosis of the immediate necrosis of the bile mass within 30 seconds of its application so shara sutra everyone everyone knows about this is very familiar therapy in the in india as well as broad also so it is formed by the 21 coatings of snuhi shira apamag shara and haridra churna so mechanism of action of shara sutra in fistula and ano it analogs to that of wire cutting through a block of ice so what is laser basically 
So how I integrate this laser with Ayurveda, that is Shara Sutra and Shara Karma. So laser is nothing but the light amplification by stimulated emission of radiations. The commonly laser which we use in our practice is 1417 nanometer wavelength. So types of laser fibers. So it is very important while operating a case of proctology. So we should know all three fibers, that is conical fiber which is commonly used for hemorrhoids, fibers for fistula and pylonidal sinus is radial fiber and for fissure in anode and cutting of tissues it is the bear fiber. So principle of laser energy is photoablation, photocoagulation and photovaporization. So my first topic is hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are nothing but the inflamed or swollen anal cushion normally present at 3, 7 and 11 o'clock position as we read in many books but it is not correct in my opinion. Hemorrhoids can occur in anywhere in the anal canal. In 1975 Thom uh, Thompson comes with the theory of another accessory pile mass which is commonly located at 6 o'clock position that is called as accessory pile mass. So conventional procedures in hemorrhoids. During my post graduation, I come, I taught across with a simple two techniques. That is, open hemorrhoidectomy. That is Milligan's Morgan's technique, and other technique is called as Ferguson technique of hemorrhoidectomy. So though uh, I operate here with the passage of time, with uh, in 2010 to 2015. I operated this, these type of cases with these techniques and I got the, personally I got the disadvantages. Uh, definitely healing of the patient is very much, but there is, there are some disadvantages of this procedure. That is, there is, it is painful, more bleeding is seen, more tissue trauma, anal stenosis and anal incontinence. So in 2015 to 2020, I come across with another another technique that is they are called as Shara Karma with bipolar sealer hemorrhoidectomy. In 2015 vessel sealers comes in the market and I use these vessel sealers for a combined therapy that is Shara Karma and vessel sealers. Vessel sealer does not it only coagulates the tissue and cut the tissue without any bleeding. So this is the vessel sealer hemorrhoidectomy. Due to the shortage of time, I will show you the minimal video clips. So minimal invasive hybrid procedure in hemorrhoids. From 2020 to 2023, we invented many procedures in hemorrhoids with a hybrid approach at Patanjali Ayurveda Hospital by the surgery department. They are FG hall, that is finger guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation. Everybody knows about DG hall, that is Doppler guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation. Doppler guided hemorrhoidal device cost about, it cost about 10 lakhs rupees for the single or uh, for, we'll use it 10 to 15 times. For, then I'll come and went with another technique that is called as finger guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation. It is nothing but a ligation of superior hemorrhoidal artery are the branches of superior hemorrhoidal artery commonly occurs at 1, 3, 7 and 11 o'clock position. So first procedure is called as finger guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation with laser hemorrhoidoplasty. So this is, this picture shows the ligation of hemorrhoidal artery and this is the laser hemorrhoidoplasty. You can see the laser energy here. Another second technique is FG hall with Shara Karma. So this is FG hall and this is the Shara Karma. FG Hall with LHP and Shara Karma. I come across this with many cases where I did this finger guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation with laser hemorrhoidal hemorrhoidoplasty. I have seen in the post of cases there is a bulging of pile masses again with laser techniques. So I invent another technique that is called FG Hall with laser hemorrhoidoplasty and Shara Karma which is a combination of and an innovative procedure which is invented at Patanjali Ayurveda Hospital. So the last technique is called as transcendental hemorrhoidopexy with Shara Karma. So Hall technique, it is nothing but a simple technique. Uh, this is the Hall suture which is having 
27 mm needle with 5 by 8 circle and round body and one the length of the thread is 120 cm it is a special thread which is used for the ligation of the branches of superior hemorrhoidal artery and the needle holder commonly i prefer is the 9 inches needle holder so before operating any case of hemorrhoid one must or a surgeon must know about the common appearance that is the mucocutaneous junction this is the dentate line and this is the anal columns. So very important with laser. Laser is dangerous when we do not have the knowledge of the mode, fiber, dosage and energy. So for hemorrhoids, the commonly used laser is conical laser. The mode is the pulse mode. And in every pile mass, we have to give 150 to 200 joules of energy per pile mass. So transanal hemorrhoidopexy with Shara Karma. This technique is invented, this transanal hemorrhoidopexy is invented by a very much famous colorectal surgeon of India, Dr. Chute's technique of hemorrhoidectomy. So he invent or he uh, blocks all the collaterals circumferentially. You can see the two layer suturopexy. So this, uh, uh, these two layers uh, blocks all the arterial supply towards the pile masses and uh, for then again I, uh, I in, in the end I will come with a conclusion but uh, the main uh, complication with this procedure is the hemorrhoidal cushion remains the same so I prefer to do hemorrhoidopexy with Shara Karma and having the excellent results so I will play another video Here is the, I am feeling the pulsation, so I will so like show the small clips of the procedure. So this is the FG hall, that is finger guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation. I ligate the branch of superior hemorrhoidal artery. So next step is the of pile mass before so very important, important these are the very, very delicate important. procedures we have the so handling is very important the, or regress the pile mass So this is the ligation of superior hemorrhoidal artery, that is a branch of superior hemorrhoidal artery at 7 o'clock. This is nothing but the insertion of laser fiber in the submucosal plane of the hemorrhoid. Then this is the application of Shara immediate. What happens in my clinical cases when I simply do the laser hemorrhoidoplasty? So there are man, in many cases I come across with recurrences especially. So what I did is I apply my Shara over there and there is a fibrosis and there is a normal scar formation of the anal cushions. So next topic is fistula and anal. This is very much interesting topic. More surgeons reputation has have been imposed because of the consequences of fistulas operation than from any other operative procedures. Fistula and anal is nothing but a, a tract which is lined by the epithelial t tissue which connects in the anal canal or rectum. Conventional procedures in facial and anu. After I, when I pass my post graduation in the in my college, only three procedures are taught to us. That is, fistulectomy. You, that is the complete excision of the tract. Fistulotomy. That is the lay open of the tract. And one more technique is that is called as the coring technique. From 2010 to 2017. I perform, usually perform partial fistulectomy followed by Shara Karma, Shara Sutra ligation in treating complex recurrent fistulas. I will show some of the cases, that is the complex recurrent cases. So first case I will 
I'll show you. This is a right-sided ischial rectal transventric fistula. So what in this procedure I have done? I excise all the tract up to the external and unsphincter muscles, followed by the Shara application. You can see the application of Shara in the cavity, and followed by Shara sutra ligation. Again, this is the uh, recurrent healed left-sided ischial rectal interventric fistula. And you can see. It is a recurrent case uh, operated five times previously. Then I finally operate this case and you can see the complete healing of the track here completely. So again this is right sided issue and transventric fistulas. The same technique. So this is an interesting case. So this is the scrotorectal fistula nano with complete healing of the track. You can see the dissection of the tract is done in from the scrotoanal region by avoiding injury towards the urethra. And these, these are the healing photographs of the post of healing photographs of the fistula with Ayurveda dressings. So then follow up complex fistulas after fistulectomy and Shara Sutra ligation. You can see the various types of fistulas that is intersventric fistulas, transventric fistulas, supralevator fistulas especially and you can see this case also multiple incision has been given before this case I think six times operated then I operate this case with the help of my technique that is partial fistulectomy followed by Shara Karma and Shara Sutra ligation there are an again follow up of complex fistulas after window technique and Shara Sutra treatment you can see the multiple fistulas here in 2017 and 2020. Again, I come with the invention of another technique that is called as window coring followed by Shar Sutra ligation scrotoanal fistulas, especially. So you can see this dissection of the tract from scrotum to perineal region, and then I made one concept that is a window technique. That is, window technique is nothing but the lift technique. So with this technique, we made a interspentric uh, window in the interspentric space and. The Shara Sutra duration of the Shara Sutra becomes very limited. With my patient since in last 10 years, the main concept of the procedure is the pain. How much pain you give to the patient after surgery, that is very important. So you can see in this technique, there is a small wounds and the scar mark of the procedure. It is very minimal with the last procedures. So when laser comes in the market, I attended many conferences with colorectal surgeon and come to conclusion with another te technique that is a hybrid technique in fistulas. So hybrid procedure is nothing but the synergetic combination of two or more procedures for increasing their efficacy to generate a better outcome. So the technique which is invented in Patanjali Ayurveda Hospital by the surgery department is an innovative hybrid technique to treat complex fistula in nano. That is window fixation, laser ablation followed by Shara Sutra ligation. So you can see this picture. This is the interspentric space and I create a window here. You can see this is the tract. So this device is the fixation device and this is the laser ablation of the tract and finally the Shara Sutra. So it is a combination of all the three procedures that is window, laser ablation and Shara Sutra ligation. So what is fixation? So this, these are the circular blades you can see the, uh, with a uh, diameter of 3 mm, 4 mm, 5 mm and guide, probe and base plate. Again the protocol of the procedure in case of fistulas with laser is very important. You should know the fiber. So it should, it is the corona 360 degree. The mode is the continuous mode. For example, if the tract is 5 cm long, we have to give 500 joules of energy. So procedure, I will show a uh, complex facial line I know, with an hybrid approach. and another opening at 11 o'clock. You can see, uh, so this is a complex anterior horseshoe shape in fistula in 
female. So it is a more form of horseshoe shape fistula. And so you can see the dye is coming. So it is confirmed by that dye test. Clearly see. The dye is coming from both the openings. So it, it attains the shape of horseshoe shape type. So this is nothing but a window that is the dissection in the interspentric space. So very careful while doing the dissection. Here are the external sphincter muscles. So I divide the this interspentric space and I will show you the tract. This is the tract inside. The whole tract is like this and this is the interspentric space tract. So what I did is I just divide this tract. So I will put the main that is a sharp sutra from here to here, but it is very small, that is around 1 to 1.5 cm thread inside and rest of the track from here to here I will deal with fixation. You can see the mug inside the track. This is the entry towards anathanal. So here is the hybrid procedure, you can see this is the tying of charge sutra inside the main internal opening that is the main crypt of the disease. Use your fixation device like this, inside the trap. So this is the insertion of fixation device in the remnant fistulous tract. So these are the coring blades especially, what I am using for coring of tract. So it should be rotated in a clockwise direction always. So you can see inside there is a tract, you can see this is the tract which is cured which is coded with the help of this coding device. And remove this. So you can see the linear track which is coming like this. So this is the specimen of code track. So it is coded from both the side, from right and left by avoiding injury to the external and sphincter muscles. So you can, you see, can see after fixation from both the sides, you can see this again circular tube structure which is coming out. So this is the minimal invasive intervention in cases of fistula and nano. Then the laser fiber is put from external opening to the interspentric space. And L laser energy is given. Here is the technology and Shara Sutra. You can see I will go by both the way. So what this laser will do, this definitely this laser evaporates all the watery content from the epithelial tissue. So you can see here. Normally if I, I will do this procedure normally with Shara Sutra technique, it will take more than six months to heal. And there is a pain, lot of pain to the patient. I will show you the follow up also. Inside. So follow up for one month. You can see uh, how nicely granulated tissue in the post operative with a very minimal Shar Sutra inside the tract. So the theory behind the fistula is only the main internal opening. We have to deal main with the main crypt. Rest of the tract we can deal with any technique. So you can see finally after one month there is very little scar marks as compared to my 
previous surgeries. So hybrid procedure, the outcome. So in modern science, there are various procedures. One is called lift, waft, FILAC, and DLPL. All the procedures are done in this institution with many recurrences. I have seen many recurrences in these techniques. The preferred technique is the window fixation, laser ablation followed by Shar Sutra therapy. So I get, I got 100% results in this procedure. So what is fissure? Commonly all the people know a very painful condition. So it is the crack or tear in the vertical axis of squamous lining of anal canal. You can see here is the fissure. So the common surgical procedure. So previously what we do is that is called Lord's anal dilatation. It is nothing but the four finger dilatation of the anal canal. Nowadays, it is, this procedure is totally banned by the American Society of Colorectal Proctology. The recommended procedure is the anal dilatation with the help of dilators. So you can see the, these dilators are used nowadays. With these dilators, there is no bleeding, no tearing of anal canal, and there is no distortion of the anatomy of the sphincter muscles. The procedure right now I preferred with closed laser, laser internal, that is lateral internal sphincterotomy, that is from medial to lateral. So I'll show you some, uh, I'll give you the idea how to do. So this is the intersventric group. So we have to just identify first the intersventric group. So this is a tumescent with adrenaline and saline up to the dentate line. This is the negotiation of laser fiber inside the dentate line. You we have to just cut the fibers from medial to lateral. So it is very simple procedure. It relieves the spasm immediately. You can do also in local anesthesia. So pylonidal sinus, it is the epithelial tract commonly occurs in the intergluteal fold. So in this, there is an accumulation of hair inside the cavity. So conventional procedures in pylonidal sinus. I have done this procedure up to 2010 to 2020. This is nothing but the complete excision of the tract up to the sacrococcygeal fascia, followed by Shara Karma, and this is a specimen of pylonidal sinus. So minimal invasive hybrid technique in pylonidal sinus invented at Patanjali Ayurveda Hospital is laser pylonidoplasty followed by Shara Karma and Shar Sutra ligation. This is this case is the one of the difficult case I have feel I have faced in my 13 years of practice. I'll show you the case. Excuse me, doctor. Excuse me, doctor. A new case that is a pylonidal sinus. You can see here. You can see the history of the patient. This patient was operated five months back in Faridabad in some uh, surgical hospital. What they did for this pylonidal sinus? They just excise all the tract. This is the recurrent case which is operated at Sarvode Hospital in Faridabad by. He, she is a 20-year female patient. Underwent three time surgeries of pylonidal sinus. So I prefer here is both the techniques that is laser and Ayurveda. So I'll show you the next slides. So follow up, uh, I have done this laser pyloneidoplasty with uh, Shara Karman Shara Sutra ligation. This patient is healed within six weeks. So the question is why laser and Shara Sutra? Shara Sutra is only for drainage pur purpose, not for cutting. You can see. After laser pylonidoplasty, I just put a, uh, these Shar Sutras for drainage. When once the wound is granulated, I take off all the Shar Sutra out, and this is the final picture of the wound after complete healing. So, post operative uh, management protocol that is same for almost all the proctological are same. So, advantages of minimal invasive. Hybrid procedures in proctology, always less is best because there is a minimal pain, bloodless, short hospital stay, 
do not require long standing dressings and no chances of incontinence even in complex fistulas definitely yoga and pranayama is also helps in anorectal diseases it relieves the constipation and maintain the circulation in our around the anal area so there are four five slides i want to speak that is generating the generations so this is the this is a symbol of hand to hand surgical uh, proctology training at our institution the story of success to become an expert in any profession you need 10000 hours of practice over 10 years but with a good mentor the time reduces to 5 years surgeons are not born they are made at patanjali yogpeet with the help of hand to hand surgical training <laughs> perfection is not attainable but if we chase the perfection we can catch the excellence so work in progress time to refine and reconstruct the most dangerous phrase is we have always done it this way this is said by grace hooper thank you thank you dr sachin gupta for wonderful presentations and you really took all of us into the operation theater and you also trained the young surgeons i think in proctological cases i appreciate your uh, presentation especially in chara chara applications and as well as snoi chara applications except for preparation of the chara and uh, the hemorrhoids you are dealing with such a beautiful techniques your son especially the fghal that is uh, your finger guided hemorrhoidal artery irrigation they have shown really the real way of how to do it with the laser therapy with the new invented uh, technique technology as goes with our present uh, uh, scenario of this semi uh, conference that is technology has been used how it has been used so you are one step ahead of susurta in using the laser therapy in hemorrhoids yeah and then you are, we appreciate the videos of trans hemorrhoidal pexy and laser techniques proctological procedures fistula procedures Uh, and fissure in ano pyloidal sinus treating pyloidal sinus and the last you are summing up with the generating the generations for surgeons then surgeon is not a born one but made surgeon and also the simple formula of the time factor what you told that any mastery you get for 10 years can be guided with a best master it will come down to 5 years a wonderful formula we appreciate and any questions please for him please we lack Respect time we have to go sir. for lunch yes so i had this one question which intrigued me throughout this presentation uh, being a like yoga practitioner mm. we have uh, this philosophy of just being as far as possible from the surgery so uh, what i suggest to my patients is using coconut oil with some amount of camphor which is useful and i found it useful for myself as well for hemorrhoids uh, fissure fistula also so so what is your experience upon it sir because what i found ashwini mudra helps to improve the blood circulation and timely allow that extrusion which has happened to come inside uh, however the the conditions that you had showed was far beyond uh, to be controlled but still what was your experience and had you done anything of suggestions of this part of coconut oil because this is very very beneficial as per my experience Yeah, thank you sir see uh, the uh, your question is very right depending upon the degree of hemorrhoids the always management is decided with the degree of hemorrhoids and how acute it is basically most of the uh, in hemorrhoids mostly we treat with the ayurvedic medicine and as you said coconut uh, coconut oil it is very much ben beneficial I, i i already use in my practice also and the bastis what we perform here in patanjali ayurveda hospital that is a mixture of all the oils with the coconut ma narayana jatya di tela yashti madhu tela we use aloe vera also as a uh, it gives this anti anesthetic uh, this and it gives the anest anesthetic effect to the anal cushions so coconut oil is very much useful while treating especially inflammatory hemorrhoids any query any mo any more questions please 
one minute thank you dr uh, sachin your fine presentation no doubt that is in your practice in your teaching everything all right but my one question whether you have advocated any medicine in addition to your khara sutra or not if yes what are those medicines see sir uh, i already told all the hemorrhoids does not need surgical interventions number 1 number 2 is depending upon the degree of hemorrhoids i already told there are four degree my question is very concise very simple whether any medicine for inflammation and pain yeah. have you given to the patient yeah what are they yeah uh, definitely uh, in the post op period we are giving uh, this curcumin gold to the patient the tablets in, in the tablet form and triflagoglu also and uh, gandhaka rasayana commonly we are prescribing here good number 2 and for laxative we have shuddhi churna as of patanjali and isabgol has we are okay. stole so for much. any emergency issues have you used in modern medicine yeah we use we have all protocol in our hospital we have modern surgeons with us we have modern anesthetists with us and a good team with us while operating these okay. such cases so anesthesia is a must for khara sutra so i see sir time is totally changed right now okay okay one minute whether any thought or any research bent of mind has been applied instead of anesthesia can we grow any ayurvedic medicine whether any trial whether any research whether any thought even come out from your brain till today see sir when you operate a patient i think i uh, being a surgeon being a surgeon we need relaxations you cannot touch a patient you cannot give a such a touch while operation was it in our ancient time like this anesthesia see sir i was born in 1981 okay i just talk what i have seen in moh churne na moh itva tatra thalya karmam kriyat nisha chare bhyo rakshastu nityam me vakhyata dura so finally that is deliberated by prasrusruta once minute number 2 we have never taken any step particular the surgeons of ayurveda all over india what i say so is not essential nowadays to go for this So definitely such has to be so done so probably i request you Pardon? and your team yes. that tomorrow let us stop this anesthesia yes. and develop our that is ayurvedic anesthesia method definitely there definitely. is a particular method of treatment in charaka sanghita also mm. where it has been clearly mentioned ki how to niruddha vat vridhya vishyandanat paka श्रोत मुख विशोधना कोष्ठान मुक्त बायो शाखा जानती बायो निग्रहा ब्यूटिफुल श्लोक इन हुई इज द फास्ट लास्ट पॉइंट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज अप्लाइड इन ऑल सर्ट्स ऑफ डिजीजेस इन आयुर्वेदा सो आई होप इन फ्यूचर इफ आई गेट एन चांस टू कम टू पतंजलि इज डूइंग ए लॉट नो डाउट बट आई शुड लिसन द फर्स्ट ऑफ इन इंडिया अनस्थिसिया चूर्ण और मोह चूर्ण और संज्ञानाशन चूर्ण और वाद रुद्धक चूर्ण थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर इन दिस एस्पेक्ट रिगार्डिंग दिस डॉक्टर नंदास मैसेज आई हैव प्रैक्टिकली सीन एस्पेशली इन दिस प्रोटोलॉजिकल केसेस द स्मॉल सर्जरीज एस्पेशली हेमोरेक्टमी देन एस वेल एज इन द फिस्टुला माय सीनियर एंड ही इज अ सर्जन एंड असिस्टेंट इज अ प्रोफेसर ऑफ सर्जरी चलिया He used to do the surgery with jata mansi quad, half a bottle, five, two fifty ml of jata mansi quad. Patient was given an empty stomach. Patient used to sleep. He used to do the surgery, and he used to get up without anesthesia for information. I have seen practically cases happening in Hyderabad College. Yeah. 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 But at the same time, we need to use the technology, and comfort is more need for the humanity. We really appreciate the talk given by. Dr. Sachin Gupta ji, and we thank everybody for cooperating on this. We'll go for the next speaker. Thank you thank so you, much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you.